I'm an American standing in Moscow, Russia, surrounded by Russians with guns. How is this possible? I was raised to believe that in Russia you couldn't own a gun. Find out what the rules are. Find out what reality is right now. <laughs> oh, and welcome to Expat American. I am the Expat American. Are you filming? <laughs> I am now. Nice. You guys are really scary Russians. If you want, you can hold it. Try to this. Alright, let's shoot. Okay, I put a hole in the wall. <laughs> Pavel, you want to try? Try to push it slowly. Yep. I got it? Yeah, you got it. Testosterone is through the roof right now. You're, you're able to import some of these yes. from the United States. Not directly. Aim, shoot already. Shoot already. Fire! When you buy the gun, you buy not only the fun of the shooting, it's a res responsibility. Absolutely. First. So you are a real Western man. Nice. Johnny first. It's very shiny, like a nice car. It doesn't look like what <laughs> it's would be a, a Ferrari. It's, it's yes. a Ferrari, it's a Lamborghini <laughs> in the water of firearms. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Joe, you will be firing the machine gun. Are you really? ready? I'm ready, man. Let's do it. Check out that magazine. Eddie, hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Johnny first. Oh, finally. What's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah. You're looking good. Nice to meet you guys. Well, we will explain you everything about gun law in Russia. special weapon, uh, high-class uh, bolt-action rifle. So we will visit all the, the store quickly, and then we go to the gallery, and you will see the, the gun. Great. Choose some of them, and you will try. Cool, let's do it. Our shooting range is a connection between different stores, different people that are connected with firearms. Okay. So we are, you can not just shoot here, you can buy your gun, you can modify your gun, you can buy something that is connected with guns, like Clothes, camouflage, different knives, etc. So this is Rose Defense. This is a store where you can buy some ammo, some firearms, and some modifications for your guns. Here you can buy different scopes, attachments, stocks, battle grips, etc. Battle grip, stock, the magazine. Uh, modifications are very popular not just between military people, but also just regular shooters, regular people from Russia. They can buy it. They can tune their gun and enjoy their gun. Just gun enthusiasts. Yes. For practice, mm -hmm. for hunting, perhaps. Uh, first of all, this is for the military people. Okay. Uh, but the sportsmen, the IPSC shooters, they're in front of it also. Variations of uh, modification from Ross Defense. It makes me think there's not much difference between Russia and America mm. when it comes to weaponry. I think that uh, we have the same amount of gun enthusiasts in Russia just in, in USA. All right. I'm pumped. I just walked in here and my testosterone level just went up through the room. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, follow me. Now it will pump even higher. So we got modifications, but we need a gun for mm -hmm. these modifications, right? Here you can buy your gun. You will know about the laws in Russia about gun, about gun buying, about bu uh, gun shooting and keeping it. The regular shooter from Russia must own 
two barrel shotgun for two years. And only after that you can buy something like um, this. Uh, it's not a rifle, it's a shotgun, but now it have a magazine or it can have a tube. So I assume you apply for a license. Yes. Let's say if you're, you're medically sane mm -hmm. and you have a good police record, you can start with this. Yes. And then you can graduate to that after, after two, two years. years. Yes. And this would be like for hunting. Uh, hunting or sport. And after three years of owing this, you can buy real nice gun, something like that. This is a rifle barrel guns, so they can shoot faster, they can shoot more accurate, and they can shoot for better distances. They're just uh, shotguns. Wow. So here we can see different AI systems, AK systems, uh, with the scopes, with the modifications. In America, we have common size, like 12 gauge, 10 okay. gauge. The same you, you have in the United the States. The same. So with normal license, you, have, you can have totally 10. Uh, entry age is also increased. Before it was 18, now it's 21. You must uh, buy a safe and put it in home. The normal handguns, like in the United States or in Europe, it's not possible to buy. You can rent it in shooting club, you will see it right now. There is a huge assortment, all popular models are available, but for the citizen, we have the, let's say, non-lethal weapon non using weapon. rubber bullet. For example, I carry this pistol. It's made on uh, base of Slovak uh, Grand Power pistol. But you see the difference is uh, Makarov, Tokarev, Glock, uh, any kind. Of yeah. pistol and it's used the special cartridges with rubber bullets rubber bullets non-lethal now let's see the most accurate examples of firearms that you can buy actually here okay. the company that produces special sniper long distance firearms so bespoke gun are producing the most accurate the most like cool the most powerful firearms for long distance shooting for example this is raptor tactical mm -hmm. uh, special sniper rifle uh, civilian can buy it but military people uh, like them too because uh, Raptor can uh, fire more than one and a half kilometer accurate wow. so you can be sure that you will hit your uh, hit your target in one and a half kilometer the most powerful the most great uh, calibers for sniper rifles so you would just do this you focus wow Oh, it's heavy. Fire. Fire? Fire? Yes, yes. <laughs> wow. Man. Mm -hmm. Bespoke produces different hunting and practical shooting uh, firearms. For, uh, for example, Bespoke Elegance. Can you show yes. it? Yes. So that is not a military firearm, but it also can shoot accurate for a kilometer and even longer distance. This is a uh, hunter? Mm -hmm. This hunter rifle for hunting different animals. Really? With, yeah, with accurate, accurate shots. For yeah. example, with this rifle, you can go in the mountains and shot mm -hmm. different yes. animals that uh, would not allow you to uh, go to them very close. Not a special forces man. Right. They can be bought by anyone with right. a license and with a five year of uh, shooting with normal just guns like we saw at another store. Lowest price is about one mil of this rubble. Is, this is, this is, this yeah, about 10 grand of dollars. Wow. Yes, it is premium. Wow. So for this price, you can get a real great firearm that can fire with a long distance, much more longer di distance than uh, just usual AK can shoot. As I said, it is a Ferrari in World of yeah. Firearms. It is. About the safety of our shooting range, if you did not pass our guards, if you did not pass our reception, or if you are not the walker here, you cannot pass this gate. So you need to have an access, or you need to have a permission to visit our galleries. You have it. Follow me. Just to Let's play poker. Just in two words, why I am Johnny first. Yes, tell because us. Because I'm the first Russian member of uh, single action shooting society. It's, uh, really? Yes. Oh wow. Okay. So your name means something. And uh, the rules require to use the alias. I known worldwide as Johnny First. Nobody know my wow. real, wow. uh, my, my real name. <laughs> well, it sounds like a real so, cowboy name. So I'm founder of the first Russian club of cowboy action shooting. Have you been to the Wild West? A real one, not. Not yet. I received an invitation from uh, U.S. shooters every week. Uh -huh. They invite me 
to come to shoot together to visit the United States. Maybe one day. Who knows? Yeah, why don't you? Yeah, I've been to Tombstone many times and like walked around wow. and seen where everything happened. I so. was a couple of time in Czech Republic. In Czech Republic, it was uh, Czech uh, Championship in cowboy shooting in mm -hmm. Germany, and uh, European Championship in Italy. This one is my own Russian Sask uh, cowboy action shooting Russia. It's made of the real uh, Cinco Peso. Oh, Cinco you peso. have an authentic. Yes, yes, I have. It's authentic from the Mexican Cinco Peso coin, and this is what Texas Ranger badges are made yep. of. So any yes. wow. is from Texas. Yeah, from law enforcement. This is it. Wow! Congratulations. <laughs> a cowboy has met an aspiring cowboy. Yeah. If you watch any uh, Western movie and you see in salon some cowboy playing cards, mm -hmm. they always play bicycle cards. Yes, It's yes, a very yes, old yes. brand from yes. Wild West era. <laughs> so all my very cards cool. are bicycle. First rule, we treat with our weapon like it is loaded. Even if you checked it. Even if I checked it. Even if you're completely sure that it is safe, treat with it like it is loaded, all right? Second rule, if it is loaded, then it looks only at our targets. Nowhere else, whatever you do. When you grab it, when you cock it, when you aim, and of course when you shoot, pistol or carabine or whatever, look only at the target. Not up, not down, not left, not to the right, and of course not to the back, because there are people at the back. Third rule, before you grab your firearm, check that there is nobody behind the target. Sometimes I will say at boy. At boy is a command in the shooting range in Russia. When you hear this command, you need to be sure that your firearm is unloaded and you should not touch it. You must not touch it. It is forbidden. Even like this. Because at the moment when commander at boy sounds, it means that there are people there. And the fourth rule. You cannot touch the trigger until you are ready to shoot. For example, I'm grabbing my pistol from the desk and I'm pointing my finger here, not at the trigger. I'm cocked. I aim, I'm making a, de a decision that I want to shoot and on only after that decision I can put my finger to the trigger and pull it, all right? Also, we cannot uh, take off our glasses and our headphones at the shooting. There are pieces of, uh, little pieces of metal that can come back to us. It can be pieces of bullets or pieces of the targets. They are very, very small, but if they hit your eye, you will have not an eye. Uh, it was produced in Russia in the beginning of 21st century. This is the new, brand new Lebedev pistol. Uh, it was uh, bought by uh, Russian police, Rosgvardia, MVD uh, in the last year, so it is very new. Here we have a strish called Strike One. Uh, it is a Glock type pistol. It was produced by Russian engineers and Italian engineers. And this is, of course, classic Glock 21. He fires these big boys, 21st auto. Very, very huge gauge with a huge kickback. That was super cool. This particular weapon right here, you can't even feel it. It is very, very smooth. Mm -hmm. You squeeze a round off and you can barely feel it. This bad boy right here, this one has a little more kick to it. This yeah. one knows, you, you know you shot a handgun. But I'm really impressed. By your Reagan pistol. With mm -hmm. this one right yeah, here. Yeah. And this is the older mm, yes, technology. It is. Makarov, it's only eight round. It's not so easy to shoot and to compete with the shooter with modern pistol. So it was the first model, modern pistol uh, certified like sport pistol for Russian shooters. Wow. This one looks for me like Gesha 18. Uh, Gesha 18. Is uh, that something related to it? It only looks like the same, but uh, it has other pistol. This is a little bit Glock type pistol, but it is better than Glock because you see, we have safety, we have a uh, lock system at the right side, and also we have it at the, right, uh, at the left side. So if you're right hand man or even if you're left hand man, you can operate this pistol with one hand. I used to be the shooter myself for the <laughs> times so, of uh, university. Nice. And I do shoot from the pistols, actually. Nice. <laughs> so let's, let's remember the old days, good old days. Yeah. So your tasks are all white targets at the bottom, okay? Thank 
мы стреляли из мелкокалиберного на 50 метров. Your firearm is ready. Вот mm -hmm. You can try this one. Aim. Shooter ready? In any target? Any target. Any white target. Ready? Yep. Fire! Uh, I'm used to do that because I was firing from the small caliber. Uh, we were shooting at the higher distances, 50 meters, mostly. And it was completely different technique. And the shooting was not in the target itself, but in the circles. Mm -hmm. Find the red dot. Do you see it? You need to focus. Ah, oh, I do see it. It's nice. way high. So, yeah, so aim the red dot at the center of the central yellow circle. And then squeeze. Shoot already. Ah, so it kicks. A bit. It's on the yellow. Just wait. Take your finger out of the trigger. <laughs> Just put your stock a little bit higher. Higher? Okay, cool. Because I, I feel like the red dot is way off. You aim too high. Huh? You aim too high. Huh. Okay. Yep. Hey, it dinged. Are you a left hand man? Uh, I think I'm right handed. I mean, right -handed. I'm left handed when I write, but I uh -huh. think for sport, I'm right handed. Okay, so take it to the right hand. Mm -hmm. Higher. Pull off a uh, finger from the trigger. Right, uh -huh. right, right, right. Now put your right thumb up. Right thumb. Uh -huh. Put your left arm right here. Squeeze it. Uh -huh. Do like this and push it to the right arm, so your right thumb should be at the top of the left thumb. Your task is to see the red dot between these two dots, and focus on the red dot. Okay. Shoot already? Fire! Jesus, that's Yes, strong. it is. That's the 21st. Dang, man. <laughs> okay. Did I hit it? <laughs> no, you did okay. not. But you enjoyed it. <laughs> yep, Dang. push it to the end. I feel like it's gonna, like, smack me in the face. It will not, You're, I'm sure. But I'm not pull, hitting anything. Pull the trigger nice and softly. If you will kick it, you would not get the target. Okay. Yep. Nice. That's the way. It feels good to hit it. Should I do the center now? Yep. Okay. Yep. Got it. Right one. I got it? Mm hmm. Cool. Left one. I got it? No. But the left one is dings. <laughs> okay. It sounds better <laughs> than other targets. <laughs> Yep. Nice. Let me try this one again. Very powerful feeling. For sure. The 21st caliber is one of the biggest caliber for handguns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one is a Taurus. It's empty shell inside. Wow, that is very It's cool. just a nice small piece, uh, revolver made by Brazilian Taurus company. This nice baby revolver, it's uh, Webley, it's original Webley. From mid uh, 20th century, it's Webley Mark IV. 97, designed by John Browning. This this one is produced in 1910, for example. So it's gun 110 year old, mm -hmm. but it's still in working condition. 110 years old. Yes, 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 yes. It's wow. made in 1910. Wow. So it's a trench gun. This, this rifle, is, uh, this, this shotgun is, is known as trench gun. Wow. It's takedown shotgun, single shot rifle, spring killed, uh, 8073 model in 4570 government caliber. This rifle was used by General Custer during the legendary battle at Little Bighorn uh -huh. against the Indians. Wow. Wow. For example, of course, it's not original one. It's a replica right, 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 right. made by Peter Sole in Italy, but it's uh, the exact exact copy of this rifle. It's single shot rifle, trapdoor, Springfield trapdoor model. Very cool, Johnny. The hero of a lot of Western movie. It's 1873 Winchester, of course, the replica made by Tuberti uh, in Italy. But it's one of my preferred guns. It's lever action. I don't shoot modern gun. I shoot only old, old West era. Based on the uh, Colt Single Action Army revolver, the Peacemaker, legendary Peacemaker, you can see in any uh, cowboy movie. But it's just uh, 
just a rifle. I have three pair of uh, cowboy uh, revolver, single action revolver in my shooting club. They produce some kind of Kalashnikov in the United States. Maybe even Drogunov is produced. But Drogunov not produced only in Soviet Union. Union. It was Yugoslav, it was Chinese. They tend to buy the original ones, not to... Of course, everyone US dreams States. about original one, uh, of original military SVD. Your pistol is rubber bullets. Yes. Because you're not allowed to have it any other way in Russia, right? Yeah, you can rent it only in shooting club and if you what, want shotgun pistol. What is the uh, point pistol. of you buying a gun that has rubber bullets? Is it just for fun? Is it for sport? Is it for protection in case you encounter a crazy American or what? So you live uh, in Russia for quite long period, so you see that Russia is quite safe country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, uh, Normally you need no pistol yes, yes. Uh, on everyday basis. Right. But sometimes, because I work in the in gun shop, mm -hmm. so sometimes I need to transport the gun we produced. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to have something. It's oh, better than nothing. Because you're it's transporting a expensive guns. Yeah. Okay, so people do buy those for protection. But globally, I have it for fun. Okay. It's okay. just for fun and because I can buy it. I have a right. Right. And gun law allowed it me, to me, uh -huh. and so I buy it. So would you say that Russia has something like the Second Amendment in America, the right to bear arms? No. No? No. Okay. Because you have you have it like restricted. You can only have so many arms. Uh, let, let, uh, let's say Russian gun law on some point is much more strict than other country, mm -hmm. but on some point in less strict comparing in Great Britain, comparing Germany, Austria, it's less strict. Mm. Because, for example, in Austria, the pump action shotgun are prohibited mm. for civil market. Here, no problem. <laughs> Backlash is very hard. It's not a pistol. Yes. Ready. What? Is this old fashioned? Yes, it's. Uh, or is this advanced of Russian 27, technology? It's Dikterov 27. Almost 100 years. Past. 100 years old. It, it was the, one of the main uh, machine gun of Russian uh, of, of Soviet army during the World War II. Really? Wow. Uh, Produced it in. Nineteen forty-two. Oh, not so uh, old. During the war, so it's only semi-automatic, unfortunately, because it's a civil gun. So it's considered like hunting carbine. It's not f full after, mm -hmm. but you just can try to move your trigger finger as fast as you can. Oh, okay. To so feel it like a machine gun. One bullet per squeeze. <laughs> exactly. And so it's on my shoulder. I lean in. Target number seven. Target number seven? I'm 49. I don't so see anything. So we have four targets. Your it's on the right. <laughs> okay. okay. The one on the right? Okay. I'm supposed to line it up. I can squeeze. Ready? I don't know. Is it going to hurt my face? No. Nope. <laughs> it could. It's, it's quite safe. <laughs> I like your honesty, Pavel. But keep pressing the shoulder. Why? It's my advice. Look. Nothing's happened. It's safe. Oh, 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 it's a safety. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. We need to push it. Still good? Continue. Did I hit anything? Try to make it faster. Did I hit anything? Uh, Definitely. No okay, so I anything just, was hit I just directly. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. That is intense. This is definitely not the sniper rifle. <laughs> here you can see the classic Mosin rifle, the sniper version of it. This rifle came from the First World War. And this round, I don't know, do you familiar with that? It looks like a shell. This shell, this round, this ammunition. This was used for the first ever machine gun, the Maxim machine gun. 
which was made by the American that immigrate to the UK to be able to do whatever he wants. And he made the first ever machine gun. This round is exactly the same as it was um, 150 years ago or something like that. Wow. And still, this round is used for the latest we got here weapon, the Dragunov sniper rifle. So massively produced, so widely spread that they just decided not to change anything. This is my results from the Mosin sniper rifle. Okay, so you did a good job. I did a good job. Don't okay. look at that, it go all the way high because the main thing is the distance between the points, I don't know. Okay. So i not the guy that used to fire from this rifle. So for me, just the scope need to be a little bit regulated to the to shoot lower and that's it Kalashnikov time yes we have a modern one in 5.45 and uh, the old one in 7.62 7 what is this Pavel the AK not the 47 the 74 okay <laughs> safety down uh, left. Sorry. Famous SVD Dragunov sniper rifle. Your target in a long range. Do not forget it. Huh? Your target is far, far away. Do not choose the closer one. Oh wow, that is far away. Right. Surprise! Powerful. So I, I take this off. Yes, you detach the magazine. Yes, you. And then I do this. You release the bolt a little bit. Yes, yeah. and do not do not follow the bolt. You just leave it. Ah, okay. really like that. Yes, and trigger check. You aim the gun downrange and you push the trigger. Yes, unload it. Uh, uh, rubber bullets. Rubber bullets. Yes. Nice. In barrel. Do you see? Oh yeah, you can see all the way through. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's do it, Johnny. I'm getting hit by shells. Wow. I did not realize how important the goggles were. I mean, the shells are bouncing off my chest. bullet gun is so, satisfying this laser is uh, very good but uh, only 10 meters maybe 50 mm -hmm. 15 meters uh, in rubber bullets it's uh, maximum if you uh, take two crimes in all, all your life you can, can't buy the gun never yes. so to buy the gun you need to be hunter officially uh -huh. Am I safe in Russia? Is it okay that I'm in this place surrounded by Russians with guns? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is Russia what you thought it was? Click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification. Here on my speech right now, send it to your friends. And also, we are posting right now a video for Eddie on his channel with me. A much different place with a much different vibration than where we are right now. Don't waste any time. Click on the link and go watch my video. Great. I don't want to make you jealous, but I've hiked the Grand Canyon three times. What? I <laughs> just filmed the result. Stay in camera, Pavel. I want you to disappear. I'm on mic? No, it has to charge. The phone's dead. Okay. But you should be fine. Just okay. talk like a man. Because of the curved, uh, curved that thing. I forget <laughs> how it means. I don't know either, and I, uh, I speak English as a first yes. language. So your point is that shit. So well designed. And how did Eddie do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he missed. <laughs> and how did I do? Uh, you were shooting from the machine gun, so I think you missed it. <laughs> oh, you're so nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>